things have definitely changed. The culture in America has changed. You know, with the emergence of the internet, everybody has an opinion, I feel, and, and they're really attacking people versus, you know, just 20 years ago, I felt like everybody kind of just minded their own business and let the law do their job. Yeah, well now back 20 years ago, you can kick a punk's ass. Yeah, punks just couldn't walk around and be punks 20 years ago. You got your ass kicked. Why you think they came up with gay bashing laws, hate laws against gay? No, punk got his ass kicked for being gay around straight people. Yeah, you just couldn't be gay back in our day. You couldn't be uh, fat and not got picked on. Yeah, bullying was all right back in our day. It was normal behavior. You had to learn how to defeat the bully. The bully is how we develop character traits, right? Either good or bad. But the bully was always the person you had to learn to defeat at some point in life. It's a bully everywhere in life. In prison, on the job, uh, at the line at McDonald's. So, man, we learned how to conflict resolute. We knew how to interact with humans. This generation don't know how to interact with humans. That's why everybody is social networking online and everybody feels so comfortable to type their opinions and share their opinions to strange people that they'll never meet. And they would do this for hours. And it would carry over to the next day and it'll carry over to the next day. And next thing you know, you and this person have developed a silent hate for each other and y'all don't even know each other, all from a difference of opinions and ideologies. So that's why I don't respect nothing coming off the internet towards me. I don't respect comments. I don't even respect a motherfucker typing saying, man, we love you, such and such, such and such. Man, no. I ain't on I, I ain't I ain't on here for, for, for y'all. I got on the internet because they say they pay. And I figured, man, I done got caught up into this matrix, just like every other billion motherfuckers. I'm caught up into this matrix. I can't put this goddamn phone down, man. I'm on this goddamn Facebook social media app 12, 16 hours a goddamn day. Man, I ain't making no money. And I'm arguing with motherfuckers. I'm going, I'm arguing with motherfuckers. Every day I'm finding myself arguing with a motherfucker and I ain't making no money. I start feeling shame logging on to these apps, spending all this time going out to eat with my kids or at the park with my daughter. I'm looking down at the phone. While they playing, I ain't giving my kids no attention. She out on the volleyball court. I'm looking at the phone. She looking up at me, looking to see if I'm looking. And it made me think, nigga, I remember when she was in gymnastics as a little bitty girl. She, daddy, look. Daddy, look. Now I'm looking at the phone, neglecting looking at them. They want me to look. So I figured, I got to figure out a way to make some money off this shit if I'm going to be neglecting my kids for it. So that's why I'm on this motherfucker. I ain't on here for y'all. I figured out how to get some goddamn money off this motherfucker because it was taken away from my life. It was distracting me. I was spending 18 hours on here, man, arguing with motherfuckers, sharing my opinions, sharing their opinion, and we ain't built nothing. Then when I got a back to school supply giveaway, all these motherfuckers with these opinions ain't nowhere around. So now I had to reevaluate what's this shit for. So, nigga, I'm on here with a character. I ain't on here with no positive message. If you get the message, you get the message. I'm on here for the character. Views. They pay for views. That's it.